In this video, we're diving into the sensational possibility that has emerged in the latest chapter of One Piece. The hot topic? Whether Jewelry Bonnie might become the 10th member of the Straw Hat Pirates. This topic has sparked widespread interest among One Piece fans, with various speculations and predictions flying around. In the Egghead arc, we see the portrayal of Kuma's past and his current battles. How these storylines intertwine is a fascinating key to the narrative. We'll deeply explore the reasons why Bonnie might join the Straw Hat Pirates and why she might not. In this video, we're bringing to you the discussions hotly debated among One Piece fans in Japan. If you agree with our analysis, please do hit like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have a different viewpoint, do let us know in the comments. Now, let's delve deeper into the possibility of Bonnie joining the Straw Hat Pirates. So, let's get started on this exploration together. Let's start by organizing the current situation of the Egghead arc and pondering the upcoming developments. The latest chapter has introduced Kuma's flashback, causing a temporary pause in the storyline. This interlude has made the situation in Egghead arc somewhat chaotic. Today, we focus on sorting this out and speculating on what might happen next. In Chapter 1094, we got a glimpse into Kuma's tumultuous life and background. This revelation seems to have significantly impacted Bonnie and holds important implications in the One Piece narrative. Bonnie, after stabbing Saint Saturn, found that his wounds miraculously healed and she ended up being captured by him. This scene hints at the mysterious power of Saint Saturn playing a crucial role in the story. Meanwhile, Luffy, after his intense battle with Kazaru, is incapacitated due to the backlash of Gear 5th. This condition of Luffy is pivotal for the future plot developments. Also, Sanji and others are rendered immobile by a mysterious force in front of Saint Saturn, indicating the severity of the crisis they face. Who's going to die first? Saint J. Garcia Saturn. This line by Saint Saturn in Chapter 1095 suggests his intention to eliminate all allies of Vegapunk, hinting at a critical turning point in the storyline. In essence, Luffy and his crew are in a dire situation. As fans, we're eager to see how they will overcome this challenge. This sums up the current state in Egghead arc, leading to various speculations about the narrative's progression. To overcome this desperate situation, elements like Luffy's revival or the existence of ancient robots are potential game changers, particularly the likelihood of Kuma appearing in Egghead having disappeared suddenly from Marie Joa in Chapter 1092, is a theory based on several indications. The basis for this prediction includes three major aspects, Kuma's programming, Akainu's flashback, and the overall structure of the Egghead arc and the incident itself. These elements hint at Kuma's return, potentially steering the story in a new direction. Let's first delve into the program controlling Kuma's actions. It's believed that he's currently being directed by some program. Many have assumed that he was heading for Marie Joa, but it's possible that wasn't his original destination. The reason for this speculation is his collision with the Red Line after leaving the Kamabaka Kingdom. If Marie Joa had been his intended landing spot, he would have successfully arrived there. This leads us to theorize that his actual destination lies beyond the first half of the Grand Line, perhaps somewhere in the New World. If Marie Joa was not his target, the reason he used the Ursus Shock to destroy buildings might have been simply to facilitate his flight. Indeed, when he departed Kamabaka Kingdom, he was obsessed to take a run up before taking off from an open area. Now, let's delve into Akainu's flashback. After Kuma's disappearance, we see a scene where Akainu converses with Bonnie, captured by Blackbeard two years earlier. This flashback strongly suggests it might be foreshadowing Kuma's upcoming appearance in Egghead, where Bonnie currently is. This indication is crucial as it implies Kuma and Bonnie's relationship will play a significant role in the upcoming storyline. Finally, let's ponder the structure of the Egghead arc and the Egghead incident. This arc not only focuses on the events in Egghead, where Luffy and his crew are, but also includes battles in the other locations like Elbaf and Hachinosu. The main themes of this arc are the battles in Egghead and the mysteries and flashbacks surrounding Kuma. It's quite plausible that these separately depicted elements within the Egghead arc could converge into a single storyline. Moreover, the finale of the Egghead incident is said to bring an unforeseen shock to the world. Hearing this term shock 
reminds us of the Ursus shock technique used by Kuma in Chapter 1092. This could hint that the conclusion of the egghead incident might be beyond our wildest imaginations. Based on our analysis, we can speculate that Kuma, who vanished from Marie Joa, may appear in Egghead, possibly to aid Bonnie and Vegapunk in their predicament. However, even if it is Kuma, his current state, with a part of his head and a leg missing, makes it incredibly challenging to battle against an admiral like Saint Saturn with equal or greater power. It's also unlikely for him to rescue anyone opposing the Navy. Thus, like Whitebeard and Pedro, he might sacrifice his life to protect Luffy and his daughter Bonnie. This scenario could imply that Kuma entrusts the future to the new generation and meets his end in Egghead. Considering past precedents, the will of those who sacrifice themselves for the future is always passed on. Therefore, it seems likely that Bonnie might inherit Kuma's will to save those in suffering. This suggests the possibility of her joining Luffy's Straw Hat crew, led by Luffy the Nika. In this video, we'll assume that Kuma arrives in Egghead and will explore the possibility of Bonnie becoming the 10th member of the Straw Hat crew and not becoming the member, and discuss the reasons for and against her joining. The six key reasons why Bonnie might become the 10th member of the Straw Hat Pirates are the relationship between Bonnie and Luffy, Bonnie's unique abilities, Bonnie's distinctiveness, the death of someone important to her, previous cooperation with the Straw Hat crew, words spoken by Blackbeard. Let's explore each of these points in detail. First, let's consider the relationship between Bonnie and Luffy. In Chapter 1098, it was revealed that Bonnie is not Kuma's biological daughter, confirmed that her lineage isn't from the Buccaneers tribe. However, this doesn't change the fact that Bonnie is still Kuma's daughter in a deeper sense. Like Kuma, who was told about the legend of Nika by his father, Bonnie has likely heard the same tales from Kuma. I've always wanted to be a hero who could free people suffering in captivity, like the liberation warrior Nika, Bartholomew Kuma. Can you set me free too, Jewelry Bonnie? In Chapter 1095, we see Bonnie being gripped with intense force by Saint Saturn, where she reminisces about Liberation Warrior Nika as mentioned by Kuma. This suggests that, like Kuma's admiration for Nika, Bonnie might also hold special feelings towards Nika. I'm Bonnie. Remember that I am an enemy, Jewelry Bonnie. Initially, Bonnie referred to Luffy as an enemy, but as they explored Egghead together, their relationship evolved into one of trust and camaraderie. If Kuma were to die in Egghead, as speculated, it's highly likely that Bonnie would inherit his will to liberate those who suffer. Knowing that Luffy is Nika, Bonnie, bearing Kuma's will, would likely follow Luffy. Given these circumstances, the possibility of Bonnie joining the Straw Hat crew is quite plausible. Next, let's delve into Bonnie's abilities. From Luffy's statement in Chapter 1044, This is my peak. This is it. Gear 5th. It's apparent that Gear 5th is Luffy's ultimate form and significant evolution beyond this point is unlikely. This means Luffy will continue to battle admirals, four emperors, and top officials of the world government using Gear 5th. As seen in his fights with Kaidao and Kazaru, Gear 5th possesses the power to contend with admirals and four emperors. However, this ability has a major drawback after a certain period of use. It dramatically drains Luffy's stamina, aging his appearance dramatically. The fight with Kazaru indicates that without this limitation, Luffy could have achieved a clear victory. Conversely, had his limit been reached sooner, Luffy might have faced defeat. Therefore, as more formidable opponents loom ahead, it becomes crucial to overcome this significant weakness of Gear 5th. Gear 4th has a significant drawback of being unable to use Haki for 10 minutes after its use, as seen in the battle at Onigashima. This indicates that the drawback of Gear 5th might also require assistance from others for improvement. The potential solutions for mitigating Gear 5th's repercussions, including the intellect of Dr. Vegapunk, Law's op-op fruit abilities, and notably, Bonnie's age-age fruit abilities. After using the Gear 5th, Luffy's strength dramatically declines and he becomes as thin as an old man in appearance. Bonnie's ability to manipulate age could potentially reverse the aged and weakened state Luffy experiences post-Gear 5th usage. Given that her powers are effective on substances too, it opens up the possibility of reversing the flow of time for the affected individual. If this is the case, 
It is possible that Luffy could return to the state he was in before he used the Gear 5th. If Bonnie's abilities can alleviate the side effects of Gear 5th, she also becomes an indispensable ally for Luffy in continuing the use of his power. This significantly increases the likelihood of Bonnie joining the Straw Hat crew as a vital member. Considering Bonnie's uniqueness, we see that each member of the Straw Hat crew has their distinct qualities, which is a criterion for joining the group. The group comprises a variety of characters like a fishman, a cyborg, and a skeleton. Hence, the 10th member must possess a unique character trait. Bonnie, as confirmed in Chapter 1098, is a young girl, potentially half-human and half-celestial dragon, granting her a unique identity. This makes her a strong candidate for the 10th member of the Straw Hat crew. Regarding the experience of losing a loved one, all members of the Straw Hat crew have endured such losses. The prospective 10th member must share this common experience. Bonnie's father Kuma, transformed into a cyborg, has lost his self-consciousness, equating to Bonnie experiencing the loss of a loved one. Furthermore, if Kuma dies at Egghead Island, as previously discussed, Bonnie will undergo another significant loss. This aligns Bonnie with the common theme among the Straw Hat crew of experiencing the death of a loved one. Based on the theory of Kuma coming to Egghead, it is likely that the condition will be met in the future. Therefore, Bonnie's potential to become the 10th member of the crew is highly plausible. Regarding the collaboration with the Straw Hat crew, it's noted that all members have fought alongside the crew before joining. Therefore, it's essential for the 10th member to also have a history of cooperating with the crew. Currently, Bonnie is actively collaborating with the Straw Hat crew in Egghead Island, battling the Navy and St. Saturn. This participation fulfills the prerequisite of fighting alongside the crew before joining, making her a viable candidate for the 10th member. Bonnie's unique abilities and character would not only enrich the crew's dynamic composition, but also enhance the overall diversity and strength. Lastly, let's consider Blackbeard's words about Bonnie in Chapter 595. When Blackbeard captured Bonnie two years ago, he said, It's surprising that a girl like you has such a high bounty. And you're too weak to be my crew member, but how about becoming my woman? I could take you along. Marshall D. Teach. Blackbeard leading the Blackbeard Pirates and one of the worst generation like Luffy dismissed Bonnie as too weak. However, the Straw Hat Pirates are likely to face the Blackbeard Pirates in the future, and if a 10th member joins the Straw Hats, they would have 10 core members matching the number of the Blackbeard Pirates' main crew. This sets the stage for potential one-on-one -on -one matchups between the captains and key members of both crews. If Bonnie becomes the 10th member of the Straw Hat crew, there's a compelling possibility for a narrative where she defeats a key member of the Blackbeard Pirates, thereby directly contradicting Blackbeard's disparaging remarks from two years ago. In this light, Blackbeard's past words could be interpreted as foreshadowing Bonnie's future triumph over one of his crew members. These six points strongly support the theory of Bonnie becoming the 10th member of the Straw Hat crew. Her profile aligns well with the characteristics typically seen in Straw Hat members. However, there are also reasons why Bonnie might not join the crew. Next, let's explore the reasons why Bonnie may not become the 10th member of the Straw Hat crew. These are three main reasons why Bonnie won't become the 10th member. One. Bonnie's purpose, two, Bonnie's position, three, existence of the Bonnie Pirates. First, let's consider Bonnie's purpose. You are willing to sacrifice for your scientific curiosity. That's why you turned my father into a mindless battle weapon. Bring my father back. Jewelry Bonnie. From episode 1067, it is clear that her main objective now is to restore Kuma. If Kuma were to die in Egghead, as previously speculated, Bonnie might inherit his will. Although we discussed the possibility of her joining the Straw Hats to follow Luffy the Nika, inheriting Kuma's will could mean she'd share his purpose of fighting the world government, similar to his role in the Revolutionary Army. This suggests her goals might align more with a broader cause than joining a specific crew. In the room, Nick Yu. Bonnie touches the paw-shaped memories of Kuma, embarking on a journey to uncover her own past. She learns about her tragic history, deeply intertwined with the celestial dragons in the world government, causing her immense sorrow. It's evident that this revelation sparks a fierce anger towards the celestial dragons and the world government in Bonnie. You're the one who killed my father, Saturn. Jewelry Bonnie. She explains with a voice filled with rage. In episode 1095, she stabs Saint Saturn, the government's top authority, with a sword, her eyes brimming with tears of sadness and fury. 
By inheriting Kuma's will, Bonnie's real mission seems to diverge from Luffy's quest to become the Pirate King. Her true aim appears to be the downfall of the world government. Should Kuma perish in Egghead, Bonnie might find joining the Revolutionary Army more effective than supporting Luffy as Nika, focusing her efforts on overthrowing the government. Let's delve into the potential role of Bonnie in the Straw Hat crew. Like Zoro as the swordsman and Nami as the navigator, each member of the crew has a specific role. Following this pattern, Bonnie, as the potential 10th member, should also have a distinct position. However, Bonnie's current role as the captain of the Bonnie Pirates poses a question. What role would she assume if she joins the Straw Hats? Given this uncertainty, the likelihood of Bonnie joining the crew seems slim unless a suitable role for her is found. Let's delve into the current situation of the Bonnie Pirates. When Jinbei asks, what about your ship and crew? Bonnie responds, I came here alone. This exchange occurs in episode 1061. What's notable here is that Bonnie, despite being a captain, arrived at Egghead Island alone, reminiscent of her solo actions in Marie Joie previously. Normally, a captain whose crew has been decimated might be imprisoned and impelled down, but Bonnie's case is unique. Her recent whereabouts are shrouded in mystery suggesting she might be temporarily acting alone, similar to how Law was on Punk Hazard. Particularly after being captured by Blackbeard two years ago, her fate remained unknown, but her bounty skyrocketed from 140 million to 320 million berries during the two years the Straw Hats were training. This implies that Bonnie was active as a pirate during this time. Therefore, it's possible that not all members of the Bonnie Pirates were captured by the Navy. If the Bonnie Pirates are still operational, the likelihood of Bonnie becoming the 10th member of the Straw Hat crew seems slim. These aspects form the main reasons why Bonnie might not join the Straw Hat crew as the 10th member. In this analysis, we explored the possibility of Bonnie joining the Straw Hat crew by evaluating the reasons for and against her becoming a member. After considering all aspects, it seems quite likely that Bonnie could be the 10th member of the Straw Hats. However, if Bonnie does not join the crew, she may occupy a unique position similar to Vivi and Momonosuke, characters who have fought alongside the crew but aren't officially members. Particularly in the anticipated grand battle against the world government towards the story's climax, it's expected that Bonnie might collaborate again with the Straw Hats, given that we are now in the final arc. Even if Bonnie doesn't join the crew, the Egghead Island arc might introduce new allies, with potential candidates being Vegapunk or Stussy. However, based on our analysis, if there is indeed a 10th member to join, Jewelry Bonnie emerges as the most likely candidate. So that's my analysis, but what do you all think? That's all for today. This channel posts summaries, explanations, and ranking videos related to One Piece. If you like One Piece, we would be happy if you could support us by subscribing to our channel and commenting. Thank you for watching till the end. See you in the next video.